Hi everyone, welcome to another ArcGIS tutorial. In today's tutorial, I will introduce you to the ArcGIS model builder. And in this tutorial, I will show you how to use the ArcGIS model builder in order to automate uh, a series of geoprocessing tasks. So in order to demonstrate the capabilities of ArcGIS model builder, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this shapefile. As you can see over here, I have loaded a shapefile called Netherlands which shows the provinces of Netherlands and over here if I activate this shapefile it shows you the rail tracks of Netherlands and if you see over here I have a folder called provinces where I have all the shapefiles of uh, each of these provinces if I turn this off and for example if I drag and drop this Limburg shapefile you can see that I have the boundary of the Limburg province similar if I drag and drop the Utrecht province you can see that I have the boundary of the Utrecht province so in this exercise what I'm going to do is actually I'm going to clip this uh, rail tracks shapefile using a given boundary of a province and after that the resulting the resulting shapefile of the rail tracks I'm going to convert it into a KMZ file and I'm going to visualize that in Google Earth and that whole process I'm going to automate it using the ArcGIS model builder so let me go ahead and turn these two layers off and the very first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to create I'm going to go to my working folder you can see over here that I have a folder called model builder I'm going to go to I'm going to right click over there and go to new and create a new toolbox and this toolbox I'm going to name it as to KMZ converter and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on this 2KMZ converter toolbox which we just created and go to new and select new model. So this is the interface that we have in order to create our new model. Alright, now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to import my rail tracks shapefile. So there are a couple of ways of actually importing a shapefile into, uh, into your model builder. One way to do is actually to simply just drag it and drop it over here. And now you can see that we have one shapefile called rail tracks and then I'm going to import one of these provinces into my interface as well let's use the the Limburg province and I'm going to use that as my second shapefile where I'm just going to drag it and drop it over here so now you can see that we have two shapefiles the first one is the rail tracks and then I have the Limburg shapefile which is the shapefile that I'll be using in order to clip this rail tracks shapefile alright now let's go to search and simply search for the clip tool and from here you can simply navigate to to the location where you can actually locate the clip tool and now you just simply drag this clip tool and drop it over here Alright, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this connect tool and I'm going to con make a connection from rail tracks all the way into the clip. And this is going to be my input feature. And now I'm going to make the second connection from this Limburg province shapefile into the clip tool. And that I'm going to specify as the clip features tool. Alright, now you can see that uh, even the color of the clip tool got changed which means that we successfully linked all the input files that's required by the tool in order to execute its uh, geoprocessing task and let's come to the output over here just double click on that and I'm going to change the the output location to this outputs and I'm going to name it as clipped rail all right click apply and okay and now you can simply execute this model by simply pressing run over here and you can see over here that it's completed already and you sort of start seeing this shadow which was not there before and if you see this shadow that means that the command actually got executed and even if you navigate to the location where you specified we will also be able to see 
the generated shape file I'm just going to navigate to this outputs folder and now over here you can see that and you can see over here that this clipped rail shapefile actually got generated now let's have a look I'll just turn these two layers off and if I just drag it and drop it over here you can see that it got clipped if I increase the thickness a little bit and probably activate this one now you can see the clipped shapefile is already here now now the next thing that I want to do is actually I want to convert this shapefile into a layer. So how do you do that? You can simply search. You come to your search panel and you search for make feature layer tool and you again go to the toolbox. And this is the tool that you can use in order to make a feature layer. So what I'm going to do over here is actually before converting this shapefile into a KMZ file, I'm just going to convert this shapefile into a layer. So how do you do that? Similarly to the previous step, you just go to your tool and drag it and drop it over here. And now this tool by itself is the make feature layer tool. You can even double click on this one and then you can see actually what the inputs and the outputs are going to be. And by now you might be able to guess that the input for this make feature layer tool is going to be our resulted, resulting uh, clipped, clipped rail shapefile. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make another connection from this tool to this tool and specify that as the input features and as you might expect it sort of lights up with, uh, with its colors which sort of gives us the indication that uh, it already it already made the connection with the with the input file that it requires in order to execute once we decide to execute the the geoprocessing task all right so this one I'm just going to use the select button and probably rename this one as clipped rail LYR which indicates that it's the clipped rail layer and then click OK and finally I'm going to use the K uh, layer to KMZ tool you can just again go to your search panel and search for layer to KMZ uh, it's this tool and now you can simply drag it and drop it over here and you can even double click again in this tool just to have uh, have a look at what are the inputs and outputs are going to be and you're going to specify this clipped rail layer as the input to your layer to KMZ tool how do you do that just go to your connect tool and make a connection from here to here and that's going to be your input layer you can you can go to the select tool again and just rename this one to be to be a name of your choice and just make sure that you you maintain the the format of the file which is KMZ all right looks fine to me and now finally what we can do is we can just go ahead and click run looks like it got executed without any issue now let's close this one and let's navigate to the folder and see all right now let's navigate to the folder and see whether we successfully created that or not yes now you can see that we successfully created this uh, KMZ file over here now if I open Google Earth before you can see that we already have loaded up one K KMZ which shows the the provinces of Netherlands and now if I just go over here and double click on this one and now you can see that we sort of managed to clip the entire rail network of Netherlands uh, using a province of our choice. In this case, it was Limburg. And you can even further improve the visual uh, representation of this uh, of this KMZ file by going to the particular KMZ file and go to properties, go to style. Uh, I'm just going to go with a light blue color and probably increase the width a little bit. 
All right. All right, now let's come back to our ArcGIS interface and let's do some slight modifications. Now, as you can see over here, this model is a bit of a rigid model. By rigid model, what I mean is that we already specified sort of a defined uh, input shapefile. In this case, it's the rail tracks shapefile. And also over here, and you can see that we sort of pre-assign the, the, the shapefile of the province that we can, that we, that that we would like to use in order to clip the, the rail tracks shapefile. So we're going to just have a bit of a flexibility by sort of adding an utility where every time when we run the model, we sort of get the liberty to choose what kind of inputs that we are going to specify. And we are going to let the model run over, over these three steps, which is uh, first clipping and then making a feature layer and then converting that feature layer into a KMZ. So the way to do that would be you, just, you click on your first input shapefile and over here you can see an option called model parameter. You just activate that. You can see a small P letter over here. And over here, go to model parameter and activate that. And also uh, you go to the output, right click and then activate the model parameter. And now what I'm going to do is actually I'm going to rename this, this input shapefile to be something like rail tracks input and over here instead of specifying it to be the name of the province I'm just going to make it a bit more general by just specifying the name to be province which sort of gives the opportunity for the user to choose the province instead of uh, letting somebody else define the province for you and over here I'm just going to rename the output to be something like uh, well, I'm just going to leave it as clip trail. All right, now you can save your model and you can just go ahead and close it and navigate back to the place where you saved your model. In this case, this is my model. And now you can just click open. All right, now you can see that we have two inputs, the rail tracks input and the province. And also we have the option to specify our output location as well. So as the rail tracks input, I'm just going to select the rail tracks as my rail tracks input. And as the province this time, I'm just going to select a different province. Let's say I'm just going to use uh, Nord Holland province. And the output location I'm just going to specify it to be in the outputs folder and I'm going to rename it and I'm going to name it as nodholland.kmz right now let's click OK seems like the model ran without any issue so we can just go ahead and close this let's navigate back to the output folder and now you can see that it generated this Nord Holland KMZ file so let's double click on this and as you see over here we successfully generated the rail tracks which belongs to just the Nord Holland province now what I can do is I can again go ahead and then uh, probably improve the the visual representation I'm just going to select a different color this time maybe red all right all right so I think you got the basic idea of this exercise now in case if you need to make any sort of a change to your to your model you can just right click over here and then go to edit and you can make the sort of edits that you would like to have. So just before we wrap up this tutorial, I would like to, whenever you switch on this model parameter, you sort of create this input to be a variable where you get the opportunity, where you get the choice to actually choose, uh, choose a shapefile by yourself every time you decide to run the model. All right, so I hope you got an idea about how the model builder of ArcGIS works. If you have any questions regarding this tutorial, uh, please comment them down below. I will try to reply to them as soon as possible. And I hope that you would also like to follow along this tutorial and then probably do the whole process by yourself. 
and if you would like to do that I have also included the shape files required for that uh, for that exercise uh, down in the description below as well just feel free to go ahead and download it and then practice by yourself and if you enjoyed this tutorial consider subscribing to my channel you will be able to see interesting GIS related tutorials uh, in the upcoming days I'll see you in the next one